Insects. You can find them everywhere. Many people won't hesitate to swat a fly or squish an ant. Some people are afraid of them. But what many people don't realize is that insects have fears of their own. Not many animals in the world have the luxury of eating hot dogs like this guy, so they have to resort to eating other things. Like insects. So if you're an insect, you aren't particularly happy when you see a sight like this. These baby birds would be delighted to have a mid-afternoon snack, say Wormay Moth. This frog would love to have some fresh from the marsh mosquito. Even a grizzly bear might take a liking to some wild stag beetle. Some other things that will eat insects are chimpanzees, praying mantises, otters, assassin bugs, surfer flies, leafwings, house wasps, tachyna flies, dragonflies, big eyed bugs, ichamana bugs, palm trees, mantle bugs, earwigs, ants, ants, tigers, bugs, and spiders. Being eaten isn't the only thing that can harm insects. Have you ever seen something like this? This plane is spraying something called a pesticide on this field, and its goal is to kill the bugs trying to eat the plants. There are many types of pesticides, and the ones used to kill insects are called insecticides. Some types of insecticides are inorganics, like lead arsenate, which are dangerous to animals besides the insects they're intended for, and botanicals, which are organic molecules and are extremely toxic to insects. Pesticides could be a reason for colony collapse disorder, a problem that has to do with honeybees dying out. We're Bob, Fred, and Chuck the Bugs, and we're living a happy life of eating crops. Oh no! What was that? I'm afraid to tell you this, Bob, but I think that was... a crop duster. Another thing that can harm insects is destroying land by building things. Destroying land can kill the insects that lived there, and the ones that escaped could die of overpopulation in the area they moved to. With a seemingly infinite number of things out to get them, insects can't just stand around and be live bait. No, they have strategies to protect themselves from being smashed into pieces in the war zone known as Kermit the Frog's stomach. One of their strategies is to simply run away. The bugs that don't want to be considered cowards have more advanced strategies. Some insects use camouflage to hide themselves, like this stick insect. Others pretend to be something more dangerous than they are. The fungus beetle pretends to be a ladybug, which is poisonous. How do other insects protect themselves? Cockroaches have mechanoreceptive hairs that can sense changes in air pressure. Houseflies have such good reflexes that they start flying away 30 to 50 milliseconds after they find a threat. Yes, that's 30 to 50 thousandths of a second. Tiger moths can sense ultrasonic echolocation made by bats, helping them get away from the bats. If the echolocation is intense enough, the moth dives out of the air. Madagascar hissing cockroaches hiss when they are threatened or bothered. Cuckoo wasps curl up into hard balls. Tortoise beetles cling onto the sides of plants with sticky pads on their tarsi. Some insects even play dead to avoid predators. As you can see, insects have many ways to defend themselves. Insects. They're all around us. They are constantly facing dangers far worse than many humans can imagine. Yet, insects manage to win the fight to stay alive in a world full of their worst nightmares.